Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WPF tutorial video by why this tutorial now. So today we'll be talking about a very important aspect of uh, WPF de development environment and that aspect is about having the customization to create your very own control. Now this aspect is called user controls in WPF. User controls in WPF is just an extension of customization of a particular aspect of design or functionality. Now what do I mean by that really complicated adjective field, sorry noun field statement? Well the gist of it or the basic thing that you need to know about user controls is that user controls gives the uh, option to the developer to have his own set of controls which are customizable according to the needs of his application and that is a fantastic thing to be to be to avail from this particular aspect of coding so let's get started by first introducing you to the brand new Visual Studio 2012 environment. Yes, we have upgraded from 2010 going up to 2012 now. And it is really, really a programmer's delight, I have to say. I was never a huge fan of the 2010 environment. I thought that they could go really quite some notches up and they have done that the design aspect and the coding aspect is really smooth now you have IntelliSense even for jQuery JavaScript and all those things uh, even complicated methods can be done really easily so the environment really looks cool has a Windows 8 kind of feel to it and it really has these beautiful small little transitions and fade-ins and fade-outs which I really like and it feels like a premium software and it is it is a premium software so number one welcome to 2012 visual studio so i have created this very basic uh, wpf demo project which is a, just a basic demo uh, demo project it has nothing in it and i'll just run that particular project and you see a blank main window there's nothing to it so we'll be adding a user control to this particular window so user controls can contain anything that's right it can have any any controls in it and it can have its own functionality so why do we need a user control and why not just create a form well the idea of it is really simple whenever you have certain functionality that you need to perform throughout the application but you need to do it in a certain way with some certain functionalities embedded into that particular functionality that is when we use user controls user controls are generally used uh, when you have some customized context menus or a menu of your own uh, dynamic generation of images and all those beautiful beautiful things that we do in application development as we go forward you'll more and more understand the importance of this particular aspect of WPF so after creating your very basic project you'll see in my solution explorer now that I have a main window XML and rest of it is just configuration so all I need to do is click on my project go to add new item and then I'll go to WPF and then you'll see this that you have your user control WPF and you just change this name to I'm just gonna write some uh, UC demo so user control demo is the name of my file click on add and you get this windowish kind of window <laughs> so there's nothing to be really scared about because this is nothing new it is the same thing as a particular window would have so you have your introduction tag which is the user control tag and it has its own declarations set of declarations and it has its own height and width now let's just go in and change that particular height and width to say let's say let's have the height of 100 and the width of 200 beautiful so as you will see I've just changed the height of my control along with my width now I have a grid over here so let's put in some elements into 
this particular grid let's say I want to add a label so I'm just gonna go label content equals say test of my user control fantastic and I'm just gonna close it first I'll give it a name it's very important that you name your components even though it's not mandatory you should always always name your components so let's give it a name say LBL test fantastic I'm not that creative as I have already spoken to you about it in my previous videos okay so we have added the label tag into our user control and now you can see that the test of my user control is popping up in our particular preview over here so now I need this particular control to be used throughout my application but I want it to be rendered as and when I require it to so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my solution explorer I'm going to go to my main window.xml now this is my entry point this is my starting point for my application and I'm gonna add a button over here it's gonna be really simple so I'll just add a button I'll give it a name let's say btn show and then I'm gonna give it a click event render that particular click event auto generated and then I'm gonna show content equals show fantastic now the entire page is the button and as I have shown in my previous videos it's because of my grid so I'm gonna go grid dot row definitions inside that I am gonna say grid sorry row definition I'm gonna give it a height of say 40 fantastic now I'm gonna give this particular button the grid dot row equals zero fantastic so I have my grid number one which has one row currently and it has a button now let's add another row but let's not give this a height let's keep it auto which is by default so if you don't write anything height it will be set to auto now I'm gonna add a stack panel and I'm gonna give it a name let's say STK uh, test cool I'm gonna add it in my second row instead of my first fantastic and I'm not gonna add anything inside my stack panel so the stack panel is nothing but an orientation container what it does is it will take components which are inside this particular panel and stack them up it's as simple as that so I'm gonna just set the orientation it's gonna be vertical fantastic now now we're gonna work on how do we put our user control into this particular stack when I click the show button so let's come on to the event that we created the btn show underscore click underscore one this event is mapped with my button which is btn show and on click it will be fired so all I have to do I'm gonna show you the most easiest way to add the user control so I'm gonna go uc demo which is the name of the class of my user control and I'm gonna create an object uc obj equal to new uc demo what this will do is it will create this particular object of UC demo and it will keep it in memory so I'm just gonna take it from memory and I'm gonna show it to my users of my application by just adding it into the stack so I'm gonna go stack test dot children dot add and I'm gonna add my UI elements so you'll see that the add functionality for the stack has a UI element as the parameter so the parameter is going to be UC OBJ fantastic close it so what is going to happen is when I run this particular uh, main window the BTN show button when clicked will create at this point will create my user control in memory and this particular stack panel will be the one who is going to display it 
onto my form so let's run the program you see the show button and I click it and I get my test of my user control so user controls are that simple to create and work with there is another method to create your user control and to implement it into your application but that one is a little more complicated so I'll be getting it into a brand new video which is going to be the next part but for this particular method you have seen that it is damn simple so all you need is a main window you need some functionality uh, on which you need a certain user control to be displayed you can add a button you can have a list view whatever you want or you can have it uh, even have a windows event like window open minimize maximize whatever on particular event firing all you need to do is create the object of your user control such as this and then load it into your window you can do it in as many ways as you like and depending on your functionality you can keep it as complex as you like so that was a quick demo about user controls and how to implement them into your main window. So if you have any doubts, anything that you liked about it, liked about the video, did not like about the video, your opinion in general, just leave a comment. And if you did like my videos, please do share it and please leave a like. So thank you for watching and more videos are coming soon. Have a great day.